The Double 10 Gold Pursuit event is a 14 day event where you're required to collect these coins to get rewards. There are three different ways of obtaining coins. The first one is by collecting tank upgrade materials. You get 15 points for every material you collect and you can collect up to 19 materials per day which means you can get 285 points daily. If you do this for the first 7 days you'll get a total of 1995 points. Then there is a purification event which will start after the first 7 days. You'll again be able to get points from this event but it is unclear how many points you'll be getting. In my opinion, it should be quite easy for most players to reach the 2500 point milestone with the free rewards. However, the last two milestones will probably require you to spend. If we assume that players get around 4000 points during the first 14 days, then it'll cost you almost $2500 to get the permanent turf effect from this event. Therefore, in my opinion, this event is only for big spenders. There's also the Mining Frenzy minigame that you can play during the first week where the goal is to collect as many ores as you can while dodging bombs. You need Mining Frenzy tickets to play the minigames which you can get by spying tech centers on the map. You can get up to 10 of these tickets per day and hence in 7 days you'll be able to get up to 70 tickets. However, you only need 50 tickets to get all the milestone rewards which should be easy to achieve. If you only want milestone rewards without playing the game, you can simply enter and exit the game 50 times to get them. There are also ranking rewards for the top 5 players that score the most points in the city. For me personally, I don't really try to rank in any of the mini games because of how time consuming it is. But if you have a lot of free time on your hands, then you can try and aim for a rank to get some extra rewards. You can also do upgrades during this event to perform better in the mini game. There are 4 upgrades that you can do and each upgrade requires a unique material. The control panel enhances vision range and requires microchips to upgrade. These can be obtained by spying tech centers on the map. You can get up to 4 of these per day. The engine increases game time and requires gears to upgrade. The drill increases op speed and requires tungsten. The plate increases bomb immunity chances and requires high carbon steel to upgrade. You can get gears, tungsten, and steel each 5 times per day from street forces. You also have mining notes which give you some extra rewards whenever you upgrade different parts at the tech center. So this is pretty much how the first half of the double 10 event works. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. You can find my Patreon link in the description. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.